Hey, what's up everybody? All right, Artillery Fishing here. Today I wanted to go over something that I've been doing a lot over the last about really just this past year. It's a waitlist. Maybe I should just make a start to making a series on freaking waitlist, but this time waitlist craws. I'm going to show you how to rig them up and show you how to catch big fish on them in this video. Stay tuned. Good morning, everybody. Yep, it's one of those good days. We're going fishing. What are we fishing for? Well, let's find out. Oh man. Alright, now how I got that guy um, was on a uh, weightless craw. So, hey, pretty decent fish. Take it all day. See you later, buddy. Alright, so what happened there was pressing the camera button to take pictures instead of uh, recording so you didn't get to see the catch, but this is what I caught it on. It's uh, something new I've been trying to do, so just throwing these uh, craws out weightless, especially this one. These are uh, these zoom craws. Man, these things have been money for me. I actually caught my PV on this, weightless by the way too. Um, this goes to show, man, I really love weightless fishing in the summertime. All right, let's catch more. Another good one. Hey, come on, baby. Come on, get up here. Oh, she's fighting. Gotcha. Ooh, yeah, that's a good one. Woo. You're a fighter. You are a fighter. Oof. Yes, that's a good girl. You're a chubby girl, aren't you? There we go. Wait, this cross strikes again. Oh, she's got some bloody gills. Wow. Oh yeah, look at those. That's some bloody gills. Wow. Or uh, not gills, but uh, fins. Overall, that's a, that's a very nice fish. Can't complain. Thank you. <laughs> look at that. Look at that mouth. Look at that mouth. Oh, good girl. Alright, girl. Well, Washingtonian PNW bass for you. Once again, caught weightless. But uh, this time, it's on the Senko. Even though I've been using the weightless craw, let's get ourselves a little selfie here. Smile. That's good. There she goes. There she goes. That's a good one. Let me give you a good one. Look at that. Mm, that's beautiful. Mm. Good girl. See, there you go. Telling you, baby, weightless all the way. I will see you later. Whoa! <laughs> ah, yeah. Uh -oh. That's some artillery fishing right there. Yo, what is that? Totally faked me out. Oh. All that grass, such a little fish. All right, first off, let's talk about the equipment, all right? So typically I will use a bait cast rod, seven foot, medium heavy action. I throw it in lots of grass areas, not really areas with a lot of down branches and whatnot, just because I don't want it to get caught up. It's just, it hasn't worked out well when I've done it in those areas, but grass beds, hydrilla, they're clutch. Okay, so 
First thing I usually have, like I said, is a seven foot medium heavy action rod. Uh, the reel doesn't honestly matter too much. From there, a line. My line is, I, I typically use a 20 pound braid for that kind of stuff because it, the bass will, as you've seen in my other videos, the bass will get caught up in that grass and be rolling around, all right? From there, I use one of these Z-Man craws is my favorite. You can use any type of craw that you really want. I've found success with this one the most. Not sponsored by any of these people. I don't get enough views to ever be sponsored, but these Z-Man craws, these things have been clutch for me. So these guys, when they're in the water, they actually give off a very nice reddish tint. This is the watermelon color. It looks more like a green pumpkin right now, but when you throw it into the water, it gives off this very reddish tint to it. It looks pretty similar to a crawfish, you know, so it's got the greens and reds and it's got all these flakes in it. And what it does is when you throw it in, it starts floating down and no, you're not getting the crazy action, but it's kind of just, kind of just floating down, dangling there. It's not really going down this way or this way. It's kind of, you know, going back and forth and going down slow. Okay. So when it's going down nice and slow like that, especially right when it starts to hit the grass line, it piques that bass interest. And usually they hit it on the fall. If they don't hit it on the fall, they're gonna hit it right after it hits the bottom and you give it a little, a tiny little twitch up. Once you do that, usually I'll get a fish on the line. So from there, I put it on this type of hook right here, one of these nice long worm hooks. All right, so one of these guys, all right? These typically work best. I know it's the uh, got the offset here, so it's not completely matching up. I have used uh, other ones where they match up, works just as well too. This just happens to be what I prefer. This isn't a very picky setup, y'all. I hope this helps you on how you rig this up and how you can catch some more fish off of it. Like I said, I don't see too many people fishing with craws weightless, but it's been an effective method for me. And I know it takes away a lot of the action because these craws are designed to, you know, be pegged up with a weight, go down in the water. They hit up a whole bunch of water displacement with all these ribs and the, the, the feet are waving and it gets a whole bunch of action. And that's what they're designed for. And it's great, but it's nice to use them in an alternative when that's not working. Because I found on a lot of hot summer days, a fast presentation is just not what they want sometimes. Sometimes they want that real slow, subtle presentation, something that they haven't seen before, especially the lakes I fish recently became very overpressured. There was a lot of boaters out there nowadays. So sadly, you got to start throwing stuff that looks a little unfamiliar. So hopefully that helps you all out. If you catch any fish with it, let me know. Leave it in the comments below. Also, hit that subscribe button. Thanks again, everybody. Hope you all have a wonderful day. Artillery fishing, out.